What's up, everybody? It's Rafi West. I wanted to talk a little more today and try to go a little more in depth about uh, the number one male hormone, testosterone. So this is kind of a health tidbit and the things that I've been learning along the way about testosterone and how to increase it. So first of all, uh, testosterone is the main hormone, the primary hormone in men. It's what uh, basically makes us men. You know, it keeps the hair on our head. It keeps our libido, our sex drive going, our strength, our muscle tone, things like that. And um, life is pretty short, you know, if you think about it. Like, for example, um, on the same health uh, spectrum, if you will, um, your metabolism starts slowing at age 25. And testosterone starts slowing for men at age 30. It starts to go down about 1% per year. So at age 30, it starts to go down. So when you really think about it, you have a small amount of time to um, enjoy life, to be strong and stuff. But, um, but that's not to say you can't be strong after that because, um, you know, um, we always, uh, the only thing you could do with, entropy and entropy by the way is like um breaking down if you don't take care of a house for example it starts to break down if you don't take care of your body your aging body at that it starts to break down so we can only fight entropy we can't completely conquer it we can slow it down so with testosterone um first of all if you go to your doctor to get it tested you have to um tell him to get tested and hopefully you guys um who've been watching any health channels when you go to your doctor hopefully you get a little more comprehensive with them because if not they'll have you in the office five minutes if that and out um you know you have to ask for stuff ask for a copy of your blood test ask for a full testosterone panel especially if you're over 30 um, so this number fluctuates throughout the day. I look at testosterone as your credit score. The higher, the better, right? Your credit score, <coughs> if it's 600, it still kind of sucks. Um, 750 is great. You know, 825 is super excellent, whatever. I mean, now they have this new ultra FICO score, but that's for another talk. But... You know, testosterone, the higher the better. Um, I've looked at my numbers and they have been declining uh, throughout the years. And, um, you know, I wish there was an at-home blood test for testosterone, which there is not. Um, not that I know of. I know there's some saliva tests, which are probably not as accurate. But um, there's this company called Everwell, I think. And I think I'm going to get a saliva test because um, in between the blood tests, you know, your insurance will only allow so many blood tests per year, one or two. I think it's one, actually. Um, but you get more than one if you have, you know, declining testosterone, elevated cholesterol, anything that you and your doctor are monitoring. Now, men, go to the doctor, you know. Um, some people, they don't even go for their physical, you know, so go to the doctor. But, um, lately I've been doing this, um, so, you know, understand that this is a number that fluctuates your total free T. Okay. It fluctuates and it's like a credit score, the higher, the better. And we all know now that it decreases after 30, 1% per year. So what do you do? Um, a couple of tips to try and increase your testosterone. Now, first of all, a lot of these products, um, you know, it's hard to find a product that will work. There is no magic bullet for anybody in life. There is no silver bullet, right? Um, so you have to, um, there are some products, I swear by this um, fermented cod liver oil. Um, I had a video about it in the past about um, 
taking that supplement along with high amounts of vitamin D. Um, so that is like one tip, and you can look into that on your own. Vitamin D, you have to, once again, get tested for it from your doctor, get the numbers, don't be deficient in vitamin D. It can cause a lot of other problems beyond, uh, you know, low T. It can cause depression, anxiety, body aches, um, all kind of ailments and weaknesses. So, um, you know, you have to also exercise. Something is better than nothing. You have to get, especially if you don't feel like it. Sometimes I don't feel like punching this guy around, but I have to, you know. So when you don't feel like doing something, that's when you should probably do it. That can also elevate your testosterone. Um, there's been studies like talking to pretty girls can um, elevate your T. So um, even at your job, if you deal with people, some people have um, solitary work, but if you deal with the public or anything, talking and being in the presence of an attractive woman increases your testosterone. Um, I'll refer to testosterone as T a lot. You know, some people just refer to it as that T. So, oh, lately I've been taking a shake that by now I already know the ingredients by heart. Um, it's a shake and the ingredients are um, basically um, organic bananas, organic blueberries, um, pine pollen. It's a Chinese superfood that is basically touted as testosterone in a bag. Pine pollen, almond butter, which is good for like reducing your appetite and satiating you. Um, ashwagandha, which I have a video here about ashwagandha and the benefits of that. Um, yogurt, um, raw honey, and um, I think that's it. I believe it. Oh, ginger, dashes of ginger um, for inflammation and it's a kind of a testosterone smoothie that I got from somewhere if you guys want the exact ingredients let me know and I will um, uh, post them on here so a testosterone smoothie and I have that whenever you know um, uh, you know you can have it as often as you want I try to do it on an empty stomach um, so it can, uh, so your body can um, suck up the nutrients better, uh, which brings me also the idea of intermittent fasting. I did it the other day. You can start off with once a week, a couple days a week. You can look that up. It's basically fasting um, for periods of time that not only fights cancer cells, but can also increase your testosterone. So that's about four tips there on increasing testosterone. Um, you know, um, and you got to watch this number. Like I said, man, go to the doctor, watch this number, because if you ever get it too low, not only will you know it physically. I have a, a, a friend I know who um, has very low T. I don't know his exact numbers, but he says he has low and when you get really low, you know, you want to avoid that because then you're looking at TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, which um, has its good points and it's bad. There's side effects with it. So you just got to be aware of your T numbers, know them, monitor them. Like I said, I'm about to get that saliva test and see um, how accurate it is compared to my blood tests and the reason why I've been wanting to get it is because um, pollution is another thing that can lower and affect your T levels so I'm in a major city and sometimes depending on your occupation and or the city that you're in pollution can also lower it so there was a little bit of a period there where I was away from that pollution so I kind of wanted to see if the numbers went up you know, I was happy about the situation in that aspect because I believe that the numbers were going to go up. So I do want to see. So any moment now, I'm going to order that saliva 
test. Like I said, I believe it's everlywell.com. Um, and I'm sure there's others. I, the reason why I haven't gotten it is because I like to do my research and see if I'm indeed getting a good uh, company, you know, um, a good quality saliva test for that. So um, know your numbers. There's also foods, you know, testosterone producing foods. Um, in the morning, uh, I hear like the regular bacon, even though they say it's not good for your heart. It's good for a man in the morning to have those kind of fats um, to elevate your T levels. Um, but, you know, lowering T, since it starts happening at 30, you can only fight it. It is entropic in a way. You know, it's entropy. If you do nothing about it, it's just going to get worse and decay and there's going to be no coming back from it, you know, so you have to fight it as best you can. That's the only thing that we can do. Um, maintain it, fight it, pay attention to it, and, um, you know, hopefully we'll come out on top, but you can't just ignore it. You know, ignorance is not bliss, especially in the case of T-levels. So the number one thing is exercise, you know, as long as you do something, get into a little program and start small and then scale up like everything in life. You got to start small. You know, if you want to buy your first house, you don't buy a five bedroom house. You get a small studio, condo, co-op, you know, here in NYC, co-ops, condos, you start small and then you scale your way up like with everything. If you go too far and try to hit a home run, it's not going to happen, you know. So the first thing is stop the bleeding, which is find out what lowers your testosterone and stop doing that. You know, do not eat testosterone lowering foods. You know, they say soy lowers tea. Um, you know, not exercising lowers tea pollution, um, things like that. You can't stop aging, obviously, you know, unless you freeze yourself in a time machine, but you can't stop aging, but pay attention to that, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's my little talk on T-levels. Um, I'm about to get into more stuff, you know, um, nootropics. You know, I'm still at the basic level of nootropics, and basically they're kind of like smart drugs. Nootropics are like the same thing. Anything that enhances cognitive function and makes you more focused, that's another thing that is entropy, and we constantly have to battle that as we age. So, um, you know, I mention aging because we're all aging. I'm getting up there, but it's a part of health. And when I see something of value, even in health, I try to bring it to you guys. So, men, keep track of your testosterone. Note your numbers. You'd be surprised how many men ask them, what's your T numbers? They say, I don't know. You know, they just don't know. Don't care. You know, um, bring it to the forefront. Um, if you're getting up there and you're over 40 30, especially over 40, you know, that is the main thing. You know, that becomes the main thing. So, um, yeah. Um, trying to make sure I don't miss anything here. Um, so, that's basically testosterone. You got to keep learning about it. You know, it's a learning process like anything else. And, um, um, can't think of a good book on it. There's some books on it. Um, I never bought a book on it. Um, I'm trying to think. A book on tea. I don't believe I have one. Any of my information has come through my own research. But um, there are some books out there that people swear by. Um, there's a chapter in the Tim Ferriss 4-Hour Body book about tea and how to raise it sometimes you know exponentially like pretty fast 
So that's my talk on testosterone. I'm going to start doing nootropic stuff, and I'm going to start, I've been wanting to do this 23andMe thing where you get your DNA information, and off of that, you can improve your T levels, what nutrients to take, a more uh, specific nutrient supplement, how to eat plan for yourself, you know, in other words, how to optimize things, you know, optimize everything from your T levels to everything else. So anyway, that's my talk and my tips on improving T levels. That smoothie tastes pretty good. It satiates you. And if you want the ingredients, I'll put them in here. Um, just let me know, you know, the uh, correct measurements and stuff. And um, yeah, be self-aware of your T levels. All right. Everybody take care and I will see you another time. Peace.